Back at you boys. Got a pretty good case study for you here. 09 Chevy Silverado, 5.3 liter with under 148,000 miles. Uh, the customer concern is the fuel gauge will just drop to nothing and it'll get a message saying fuel tank's empty. The backstory behind this truck has been to three shops. It's had uh, two fuel pumps put in from aftermarket. Uh, it's just had a fuel level sensor put in and a fuel tank pressure put in. And the shop that did that work was about to put a gauge cluster in this thing. Uh, lucky for the customer, one of his friends knew our shop and said, hold on, take it over to this guy. Uh, they specialize in electrical work and diagnostics. So we ended up with the vehicle. So when we got it. Here's the initial codes that were in the system that we were concerned about. P0453, fuel tank pressure sensor circuit high voltage. P0454, fuel tank pressure sensor circuit intermittent. P0463, fuel level sensor circuit high voltage. The brake switch, EVAP, vent valve, we're not worried about, okay? We drove it, it did, the fuel level did drop on us. And here's the two codes that we got during the test drive. We got a P0453 came back, and then so did the P0404. Four six three. So at this point, we gotta come up with a game plan. We we gotta let the data lead us in direction. Okay. So we pulled the wire diagram. We saw the ECM provides the ground or low reference to both the fuel level sensor and the fuel tank sensor. So we also notice it's one wire from the PCM all the way to the tank, then it splices it and turns into two wires. So based off of that, since we had high voltage codes, we were pretty confident we were losing the ground. So, and it was before the splice. So at some point you gotta get in there and start and doing some inspection. So we pulled the bed back and we wanted to do a, a, a wire tug test. I like to grab the wire and slightly pull on them. If you have a wire that's broke within the insulation, it's barely making contact and it flexes, you'll get intermittent problems. And if you pull the wire, the insulation will start, it starts stretching, and then you, the wire snaps. And this is the case. Let me show you what we found. So this is your splice. This is your, your low reference ground going to the pressure sensor and the level sensor, okay? Back here is where we did a little bit of pulling, and this stretched, and it snapped right here. So it's in a bad spot, man. And what's weird, it's underneath this plastic guard. You know, who would have thought you would have a wire that broke within insulation? Uh, it happens. I mean, those are the worst ones, the hardest ones to find. Hopefully this tip helps someone out there. If you like our content, thumbs up. Let us know in the comments. Subscribe to our channel. Remember, if you're going to do it, do it right. See ya.